unit 18 name of the unit is organization of tissues children in the previous class we discuss about um, plant tissue that is it is broadly classified into meristematic tissue and permanent tissue is it right so what is meristematic tissue the cells are capable of cell division it is very very important one all the cells of the meristematic tissue undergo cell division that is called a meristematic tissue what is permanent tissue they are the mature cells incapable of cell division they cannot undergo any cell division that is called the permanent tissue after that the permanent tissue is broadly classified into two types one is simple permanent and another one is complex permanent the name itself you can easily understand the concept so simple permanent means the tissues composed of this the cells are of simple so it is made up of simple cells that is similar cells so single type of cells that is called simple permanent tissue the tissue composed of more than one type of cells so all the cells in simple permanent tissue are single type only one type of cells in case of permanent tissue the cells the are of many types or different types okay so in simple permanent tissue there are three different types or example one is parenchyma second one is colon chyma and third one is scleron chyma so again i'm telling permanent tissue is broadly into two types one is called simple permanent and another one is called complex permanent so what is simple permanent the tissue made up of the tissue composed of simple permanent is only a single type of cells okay in case of complex permanent tissues the tissues composed of this complex permanent is made up of more than one types of tissues or cells okay so in simple permanent tissue uh, it is of three types one is a um, parent chyma second one is colon chyma please pronounce it properly c o l l e n colon chyma and third one is scleron chyma now we will see the colon chyma in detail colon chyma colon chyma is a living tissue found beneath the epidermis you know very well epidermis is the outermost layer outermost layer below to that epidermis the tissue called colon chyma is present okay the cells are elongated they are very elongated with unevenly thickened cell walls see here the cells of this um, cell wall the cell wall of this cells are unevenly thickened one cell have very thick cell wall uh, one cell have very thin cell wall they are not in evenly arranged the cell walls of these cells are unevenly uh, thickening okay so, so the cells have rectangular oblique or tapering ends and persist protoplast what is protoplast or protoplasm protoplast is nothing but the cell without cell wall that is called protoplast protoplast is nothing but the cell without cell wall is called the protoplast you know very well uh, in plant cell cell wall is the outermost covering layer inside that cell wall you have a cell membrane or plasma membrane right and then inside that a nucleus is there vacuoles is there endoplasmic reticulum cytoplasm everything is there so protoplast is not means the cell without a cell wall is called protoplast clear children and then they po possesses thick primary non lignified walls 
and the colon uh, chyma provide mechanical support for growing organs the next one is scleran chyma please listen carefully uh, it has to be pronounced as scleran chyma the scleran chyma consists of thick walled cells which are often lignified the scleran chyma cells are dead cells very important one more question it is a uh, dead cells and do not possess living protoplast at maturity scleran chyma cells are grouped into two uh, one is fibers and another one is sclerites so fibers and sclerites the first one fibers fibers are elongated they are all elongated like this elongated scleran chyma cells usually with the pointed ends they have like this point so this is a pointed ends their walls are lignified and then fibers are abundantly found in many plants the average length of the fiber is 1 to 3 millimeter very important one more question what is the average length of the fiber that is 1 to 3 millimeter see the picture here uh, this is the picture for uh, fibers it is a pointed egg elongated pointed egg lignified thick cell wall and then narrow lumen this is a narrow lumen a longitudinal section of fiber The next one is sclerites. Sclerites are widely distributed in plant body. They are usually broad. See the picture here. They are look like very broad and may occur in single or in groups. So sclerites are occur in groups or it may in single um, particular tissue. Okay. Sclerites are isodiametric with lignified walls. The pits are prominent see the picture here children uh, this is the pits they are prominent and they attached with the cell wall and then uh, the pits are prominent and seen along with the cell wall lumen is filled with the uh, wall material this is a lumen it is filled with the wall material cell wall materials okay the sclerites are also common in fruits and seeds the next we move on to complex tissue so permanent tissue is of two types one is simple permanent another one is complex permanent simple permanent is nothing but the cells are of single type but case of uh, complex permanent it is made up of more than one type of cells see here now the complex tissue it is made up of more than one types of cells so complex tissue are made up of more than one type of cells very very important one and they work together as a single unit the complex tissue con consists of parenchyma and sclerenchyma cells however colon chymatous cells are not present in such tissue so colon chyma is absent in complex tissue only the parenchyma and sclerenchyma are present the common examples of complex tissue are xylem and phloem it is very very important one so examples of complex tissue is xylem and phloem see the flow chart here children the permanent tissue it is of two types simple and complex in simple it is of three parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma in complex it is of two xylem and phloem now we are seeing uh, xylem okay xylem xylem is a conducting tissue the two it conduct water and minerals from the soil to all parts of the plant body right so xylem is a conducting tissue which conducts water and minerals upward from the roots to leaves leaves it means all parts of the plant body right like, like that okay xylem gives mechanical support to the plant body xylem is made up of xylem tissue is composed of four main thing one is 
xylem tracheids xylem fibers xylem vessels and the last one is xylem parenchyma so xylem tissue is composed of xylem tracheids xylem fibers xylem vessels and xylem parenchyma see the picture here children uh, this is a xylem tissue uh, this is a longitudinal section a longitudinal section of xylem and then it is a transfer section of xylem you can see pitted vessels scatiform uh, reticulate elements and then parenchyma cells here spiral elements annulus annular cells is there so so much is uh, there this is the transfer section in short it is called as ts longitudinal section means ls okay so xylem in that xylem it is composed of four first one is xylem tracheids it is also a type of tissue uh, these are elongated tube like dead cells with hard thick and lignified walls the ends are tapering like this the ends are tapering like this and they have blunt it is not uh, sharp it is blunt or chisel like and devoid of protoplast protoplast again i am telling without cell wall okay they have large lumen without any content there is no content at all their function so tracheids the function is conduction of water in general as i said xylem is a tissue it is a complex tissue it has the capacity to conduct water molecules from the roots to the aerial parts of the plant body that is to the leaves but in particular among the xylem uh, tissue they have four different types of cells so xylem tracheids has the capacity to conduct the water from the soil okay so the main function is conduction of water and providing mechanical support to the plant body second one xylem fibers these cells are elongated again it is elongated lignified and pointed at both the ends the xylem fibers also provide mechanical support to the plant body the next third one xylem vessels xylem vessels these are the long cylindrical tube like structures with lignified walls and wide central lumen the cells are dead as they do not have protoplast they are arranged in longitudinal series in which the partitioned walls are perforated and so the entire structure look like a water pipe so whole structure is look like a water pipe the main function of xylem vessels is transport of water and also to provide mechanical support so all these types all the xylem tissues and the cells are conducting water as well as it provides the mechanical support okay so the last one is xylem parenchyma these are the living and thin walled cells all these cells are very thin in nature the main function is storage the parenchyma has the capacity to store um, fatty substance food substance starch etc so xylem parenchyma is useful for storage of food material starch as well as the starchy uh, fatty substances thank you children we will see in the next class